Hello and welcome to this review of Ron Pontalba Gold Rum. This was introduced in 1989. There's also a Ron Pontalba White Rum and a 151 Overproof Rum. There may be others. These are the ones I'm aware of. Uh, it's, it says imported from the Caribbean islands. They don't indicate which islands. It's bottled at Buffalo Trace Distillery in Frankfort, Kentucky. It's a Sazerac brand. Of course, they own Buffalo Trace. Uh, so it's a family-owned company. <clears throat> There's no listing for distiller.com or Proof 66. So, um, and this is the first, vid so there's no written reviews that I can find, and this is the first video review for this rum in the world. All right, it was $6.99 for that one liter bottle at Kevin's liquor store. We do have some liquor stores in Louisiana, they're not common, but that's on uh, Louisiana Highway 49 southbound in Kenner, Louisiana. All right, it's golden, pretty rich gold color. Uh, is it colored? Do they add color? Many rums add some caramel color, give them a better appearance, just like Scotch and Canadian whiskey, American blended whiskey. All right, so nice alcohol eggs. Uh, the aroma is really just uh, spirits, 80 proof um, liquor, kind of standard generic. Um, there's a little wood. I wouldn't think it's aged very long in the oak barrels, but enough, I suppose. Um, but it smells fine. The taste, it's pretty good. It's sort of generic, uh, really. But there's no strange off flavors like with the uh, Castillo uh, gold I found it had an unusual olive oil. I didn't know how else to express that or explain that olive oil flavor, which I couldn't figure out. This just has a straightforward, basic gold rum. A little bit of light molasses. Not a harsh alcohol hit. Um, lower medium body, almost light body. There's the wood coming in, so you do get the wood barrel. Char, no, but you get wood, a little charcoal from probably the um, filtering. Many of these rum companies will use a secret blend of various wood charcoals. And it has a, um, meet a moderate finish, not too long and cloying and lingering, doesn't just drop off. And that is what you'll find with most of these uh, rums. They have a moderate finish. That's been my experience so far. Now, is this a world-class product, an exemplary product for $6.99 a liter? No, it isn't. But it is, is it a good product? I think it is. It's good, it's pleasant, it's enjoyable, even though it is a bit basic. I think a fair score would be an 83 out of 100. Good. Let's just keep it at that. 83, 84. We'll say 83. Mid-range, 80, good. It would, it would be a repurchase. I think it's going to do very well in the taste challenges. Um, don't expect it, expect it to beat the Añejos, the 10-year and the 8-year aged Bacardi. But that's a different class, really. They're golden, but they're aged. This is just not. It isn't. If it's aged a year, fine. Uh, it may not even be a year. It's not a requirement, uh, like with whiskey and things. You have some of those, like some countries, it depends on what you're talking about, have a 2-year or th even 3-year age uh, lim uh, minimum but they don't have that but rum. So yeah, 83 out of 100, a B. If you ever see it, I would say buy it and try it. You'll probably like it. I've only seen it at Kevin's. I haven't seen it anywhere else in Louisiana or in the world in my explorations. And so Lazy Lay Bon Ton Relay, a good, solid rum, a rum, 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 Ron Pontalba from Sazerac. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.